Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Today we're going to be working on a 40 inch side-by-side built-in Viking refrigerator. Uh, the customer's complaint is that the fresh food section nor the freezer section is cooling. So I already have diagnosed that it needs a new freezer evaporator fan motor. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of diagonal cutters, and a zip tie. So the evaporator fan motor that we're gonna be replacing today actually diverts the cool air to the fresh food um, section with the help of the axial fan motor, which is located in the right hand corner. So. Uh, to begin the repair, we want to go ahead and remove the ice bin cover as well as the ice bin. So to remove the cover, you just lift up and pull out. Sometimes you will have to angle it out because the door doesn't open all the way. Once that's been removed, we can grab the ice bin, just wiggle it out, and it will pull straight out. We can set that aside. To access the evaporator fan motor, we're gonna be removing three panels. One here, one in the back, and this one right here. So to begin, we have to remove this panel first. To remove that panel, we wanna go ahead and start with the screws at the bottom. Now, all these panels are gonna be using a quarter inch style screw. So make sure that you do have a nut driver or drill that can remove the screws. And there's two screws on the bottom. There's one on the side right here. Next screws we want to remove are these two. Right here, they're facing you. Now there's one more quarter inch screw holding this panel in place, and that is right here. It's right underneath the auger blade. Now we're going to remove this panel just by lifting up and angling it out. As you can see right here, this is the evaporator fan blade and motor assembly with the bracket. The fan blade is at the top and it's broken. The actual pieces though are in the cover we just removed. Next, we're gonna remove the smaller cover here. You can see the quarter inch screws, one, two, and then three. Once the three screws have been removed, we can easily just pull the panel right out. Now we want to remove the four screws mounting the last panel in place. The reason so we can get to the screws that are mounting the fan motor and bracket assembly in place. To begin, we want to remove the two quarter inch screws that, is, that are securing the top panel here. Now we can remove the two bottom quarter inch screws. Now once you get ready to remove the last screw, be careful because the panel might want to start leaning towards you. As you can see. Once the last screw has been removed, you can tilt the panel towards you, lift up, and pull out. 
Now we have access to remove the evaporator fan motor assembly and bracket. To do so, there's four quarter inch screws, two on each side, that we have to remove. Now right before I'm going to remove the last screw that's securing the bracket and fan motor assembly, I'm going to disconnect the wires here and cut the strap. That way I can remove the uh, fan motor altogether. So to disconnect the wires, you just uh, depress the two clips. Now I'm going to cut that zip tie that's securing all the wires together. This will be replaced later. We're doing it now so we can remove the evaporator fan motor assembly. And once the zip tie has been cut, we can remove the last quarter inch screw that is securing the fan bracket into place. Once that screw is removed, there is one more ground screw with the ground wire attached to the fan bracket assembly that we will have to remove. Now we're going to remove the quarter inch ground screw. Now we're ready to install the new evaporator fan motor assembly. Now we're going to install the ground strap to the new fan motor assembly. It goes in the same exact position as the old one. Once the ground strap has been installed, we can go ahead and reattach the wires that go to the fan motor to the connector. And it's key to go on one way only, so you find the correct position. And just push the, the clips together. Once that's done, we can go ahead and Position the fan bracket to the screw holes where they're supposed to go and just start reinstalling the quarter inch screws we removed earlier. Once the four screws are securing the fan motor bracket in place, we can go ahead and add a zip tie, the one we removed earlier, just to secure the wires. Now we're ready to reinstall the bottom cover. To do so, we're going to angle it in there, drop it down, there's a little lip. This lip is going to get tucked behind the evaporator cover. So it's just like this, you angle it in there, then lift up. Once the bottom panel is in place, we can go ahead and re-secure the four quarter inch screws. I'm going to start by doing the top one first, that way I can free my other hand so I can use the other hand as I want. Once one screw is in place, you can go ahead and re-secure the other three. Once the four screws have been reinstalled to the bottom panel, we can go ahead and do the top sub panel. That's a smaller panel that goes in the back. 
and there's three quarter inch screws that secure that one in place. Now we're just placing the sub panel into place. Once we've done so, we can go ahead and fasten the three quarter inch screws. There's two up top here, and then one down below hiding. Now we're gonna position the third and last panel so we can reinstall it. Once it's in position, we can start securing the six quarter inch screws into place. I'm gonna start first by securing the top ones. Once all the screws are reinserted and the panel is secure, we can go ahead and turn the power back on and make sure that everything is okay and your repair will be complete. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.